It was just a normal, quiet Sunday morning in the flat. I said it was just a normal, quiet Sunday morning in the flat. Blimey, what's that noise? Must be our new neighbours. What a racket. Sounds like a herd of cows. Yeah. I always say cows should be seen and not heard. <laughs> Get it? Seen and not heard. <laughs> boom, boom. Oh, dear. I hope I haven't peaked too soon. Who do you think's moved in, then? A farmer? A farmer? Moving into the flat upstairs? Don't be ridiculous. Hello. <laughs> I'm a farmer. I just moved in upstairs. Well, that's really funny. We were just saying... I thought I'd call in to introduce myself and say... Keep off my lap! <laughs> right. And no worrying my sheep, neither. Hey, never mind the sheep. I'm very worried about having the likes of old misery chops as a neighbour. <laughs> Me too. Mm. But maybe there's a lovely farmer's daughter. <laughs> Not like you to read the script. <laughs> hey, I say, why aren't sheep allowed in the pub? Because they're bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hang on, here comes another one. <laughs> why are lambs so good at poker? <laughs> because they like to gamble in the fields. <laughs> oh, oh, no one coming by. Quick, stop me, someone poop. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you. Thank you. For most of the broadcast is fine, but. For Castle Moat in Glasgow, there's a freak snowstorm on the way. I wish they'd keep it down up there. I can't hear the telly. It, it's not my fault. It's that lot upstairs. I can't speak any louder. I might harm my throat. <laughs> I see. This digital interactive is getting better, isn't it? <laughs> hey, I wonder what happens if I press the red button. <laughs> no, 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 no. Battle, don't press the red button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is getting annoying. Oh, watch out. Drop alert. <laughs> if that's someone from upstairs, I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. Well, don't give them too much. <laughs> you haven't got that much to spare. <laughs> yes. Hello. Hi, I'm Daisy. I live upstairs. Hi, I'm Stephen. I live downstairs. <laughs> I know. Oh, right, yeah, of course. And one lovely farmer's daughter. <laughs> Worth staying and watching, eh, chaps? <laughs> Go on, Mr Stephen. Give her a piece of your mind, then. <laughs> Shut up, Bazaar. Would you like to come in? Oh, yes, thanks. <laughs> My dad and I were just wondering if you've got any straw we could borrow. Straw? Well, yes. You know what it's like when you're moving farm. It's always the little things you forget. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> well... Straw, you say? I'm Dave. <laughs> How much straw are you after? A couple of bales. <laughs> well, this thing... Dave, do you want to tell us why you've got... <laughs> 30 bales of straw in your ear. Not really, no. Dave! I got it at a knockdown price for the school production of Oklahoma. But they only went and did grease instead. So I'm stuck with it. Ah, you drew the short straw there, Master Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Is it always like this in here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am getting paid, aren't I? Shh! <laughs> Just put them anywhere. I, uh, really like what you've done with the place. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
for me. I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. <laughs> Hello, Miss Daisy. <laughs> well, let's have a look at your animals then. <laughs> a shufty at your sheep, a gander at your geese, a butchers at your cows. Ah. Well, I'm sorry, that was insensitive. <laughs> look, Basil, chickens. Ooh, excellent. <laughs> Nothing excellent about it. The chickens aren't laying, haven't done in ages. Dad's furious. Nah, poor little chicken. Basil, you better disappear. I'm afraid my dad doesn't really like foxes. Well, I'm not scared of him. Oh, I hope he's not got his shotgun. Shotgun? <laughs> I'm off. Okay. Can you smell fox? Oh, no, Dad. I could have sworn I... Who are these two troublemakers, then? This is Steve and Dad from downstairs, and this is Dave, his nephew. I thought I told you no trespassing. I invited them, Dad. They lent us some straw. Lent? I was going to make a profit on that. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, I suppose. <laughs> you get off my land. And as for you lot, you get laying, or it'll be whack, chicken pie tonight. <laughs> well, uh, thanks then. Look, Daisy, I don't suppose you fancy having dinner with me later? It's just I'm very hungry and I'd... Oh, forget it, I don't know what came over me. I I'd love to, Stephen. You would? I would. But... But... I told you so. I've got so much work to do. There's mucking out the pigs, milking the cows... Milking the sea. Uh, they will help you out. That way you'll be finished earlier. Yeah, right. I'll give you ten quid if you help me out. You must be joking. Twenty. No problem at all. <laughs> In that case, thank you. I'll go get you some overalls, a shovel and a gas mask. A gas mask? <laughs> Thanks for this, Dave. My pleasure. Right. I'm off then. Um, about eight, Daisy? Oh, yeah, OK. OK. <laughs> Bye, then. All right, yeah. Now, <laughs> 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 well, Dave, it doesn't seem right you're doing this work for nothing, so look. <laughs> if it makes you feel better. <laughs> If this wasn't a family programme, I'd have one or two things to say about this. Watch it, Dave. Need a hand? You bet. That's a shame. I've only got Paul. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Look out, Mr. Stephen. <laughs> and the guest mask is just his sort of thing. Do you reckon Stephen will like the dress? Yes, but don't let him wear it. <laughs> it looks much better on you. Botheration! It's him again. Hi! Don't worry. This time I've come prepared. Hey, hey. <laughs> this time I definitely smells fox. The fox? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Who are you then? I am uh, Mr. Uh, Not Fox. <laughs> it's double barrel. So's my shotgun. Mr. Not Fox. Uh, yes, I come from a long line of Not Foxes, don't you know? <laughs> All my family were Not Foxes, <laughs> except on my mother's side, of course. <laughs> they were not badgers. Because <laughs> I ate foxes, chicken <laughs> murderers. I ate them. Mind you, they is good for one thing, though. Oh, what's that, then? <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> we wouldn't hang around with foxes. They're dirty, filthy animals. They pick your pudding. Don't you agree, Mr Not Fox? Uh, uh, oh, oh, yes, 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 they're filthy, they are. And they smell. Yeah, that they do. And they wear girls' pants. And they wear gir <laughs> girls' pants. You're looking for a punch up the bracket, mate. Well, I suppose I'll have to take your word for it, but just in case... <gasps> what is it? A fox trap. A what? A fox trap. Who keeps doing that? Sorry. Girl, string your bow, you big fiddle. Yeah. <laughs> Listen here, my good man. Uh, uh, just in case...
case we do see any of those uh, horrible, filthy, dirty foxes around here, uh, uh, do you want to explain how this uh, <coughs> contraption works? Not really, no. <laughs> ah, go on. Just for the viewers at home. Oh, all right then. Hello, viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mum. <laughs> well, what happens, you see, is this. You set down the trap like this. Fascinating, isn't it? <laughs> then you wait for the fox. And he puts his leg in like this and... I'll give over, I hurt my arm. Don't be silly. I mean, that trap's broken anyway. What do you mean, broken? Well, look. I can't see anything. Look closer. <laughs> I'm sorry. My dad does go on a bit. Yes, I thought he'd never shut his trap. <laughs> boom, boom. You better just go and check he's OK. Hello, ladies. <laughs> What's that? They don't like it here. The farmer bullies them. They want to escape. Well, don't worry. I'll get you out of this mess. Uh, OK, here's the plan, girls. A weatherman was arrested today after appearing on national television in his pants. What a funny place for a television. I am absolutely shattered. Oh, what is that smell? <laughs> Can't smell anything. Oh, it's disgusting. It's you! Get in the shower! Hey, it's the fresh smell of the countryside. Remind me never to leave the city. Why the overalls? I'm in the mood for dancing, romancing. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, did something die? What is that pool? It's done. Technically, it's the manure. Shower now! Ah, Mr. Stephen, do we have a torch? Yeah, there's one underneath the sink. What do you want a torch for? Uh, nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah, Basil, you know Daisy's coming round later. Really? That's nice. <laughs> So if you could try not to do anything to humiliate me or show me up? As if I would. I'm going out anyway. Bye-bye. <laughs> He's acting very suspiciously. He didn't try and warm me up once. Not so much as a ha-ha or a boom-boom. <laughs> what is he up to? Night, Dad. I'm off to Stevens for dinner. Night, Daisy. And you be careful. You can't trust these city folk. Have you seen his hands? Soft, like ladies. <laughs> Haven't done an honest day's work in their lives. String them up, I say. Oh, Dad. Right. I'll just go and shout at the cows. <laughs> um, <and true. Good evening, lady. Right. Follow me. Daisy! Is that you? Blast! Discovered! Ladies, leggy! Dad's always wanted to work from home, and it's so expensive to run a farm in the country these days. Mm, of course. I think you got off on the wrong foot. His bark's worse than his bite. He bites. <laughs> Hello, why didn't you come <laughs> in? I, I got chickens missing. Sounds painful. <laughs> then it's a fox. And I'll bet he's hiding him. Dad, Stephen wouldn't do a thing like that. Oh, no. No. Then you won't mind letting me search your farm, then, will you, eh? <laughs> Be my guest. Hello, hello. You remember Mr Not Fox, don't you, Dad? 
Mr. Not Fox. Yes, keep up, keep up. <laughs> How do? Oh, I see you've got that trap off your head. <laughs> oh, fancy a bicker. They're free. Why, well, yeah. Thanks you very much, Lee. <laughs> oh, how did that get in there? Uh... I'm warning you lot, I'll be back. And if I finds out you've got my chickens, I'll... Come on, Daisy. I don't want you hanging about with this bunch of townies. They's trouble, especially that one. He looks like a children's entertainer. I'm sorry, Stephen, I'll try and talk to him. Righty. I like your Jim Jam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bed. All right. Night, night, Mr. Stephen. <sighs> I see, ladies. I think we got away with it. <laughs> ah, good morrow, ladies. <laughs> Did you have a nice kip? <laughs> good. <laughs> oh, I see. I wouldn't make your nest by that cooker. <laughs> that would be tempting fate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, quick, hide. Molly's coming. <laughs> Basil, who were you talking to just then? Uh, no one. <laughs> uh, there's nothing there, Miss Moll. Uh, I was tidying up, honestly. Basil? <laughs> there ain't nobody here but us chickens. <laughs> He's kidnapped the farmer's chickens! Molly, I am shocked that you should suggest such a thing. I didn't kidnap them. No? I rescued them. Basil! Well, I couldn't very well leave them with old farmer Grumpy Chops, could I? <laughs> oh, he's ever so mean to them, you know. But, Basil... No, nah, what's the matter with you? You like eggs, don't you? What's going on? Basil's stolen the farmer's chickens. Oh, not stolen, Molly. I liberated them. They were going to be chopped up and made into chicken pie. So you've liberated the chickens. But they can't stay here. Why not? We'll be evicted. There's a clause in the contract on the flat that says no pets. Uh, where's that, then? Here. See? No pets, especially chickens. Well, there's nowhere else for them to go, is there? I'm not letting them go back to him upstairs. We'll have to hide them. Oh, good idea. Yes, they can go with the pigs and the cows. The pigs and the cows? Oops. Did I not mention the pigs and the cows? No. Uh, well, I... Liberated them this morning. Basil, if Stephen finds out that all these animals are here, we'll be in big trouble. Oh, <gasps> quick! <laughs> look innocent. <clears throat> Hiya. You three all look very innocent. <laughs> what are you up to? Nothing. Uh, you have a very suspicious mind, Mr. Stephen. <laughs> there aren't any animals here, if that's what you're thinking. All right. <laughs> Did you just hear something? No. <laughs> what was that? Um, that was Molly. Molly? Yes, I've got a moo, tilly, moo throat. Moo, 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 Saved by the bill. <laughs> and now you're up to something. Nobody move. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I hope that's not old manure breath. <laughs> My chickens. Now my pigs and cows. If I find the thieving so-and-so who's nicked them, oh, he'll feel the sharp end of my pitchfork. Look, why don't we all just sit down and talk about this like adults? I'll make us a nice cup of tea. <laughs> um, did you mention your pigs were missing as well? Yes. Thought so. No tea bags. Sorry. I know, tell you what. Who wants to see a trick? Not me. A trick? A magic trick, that'll cheer everyone up. Right, now where's my magic box? Oh, Mr. Stephen, maybe that's not such a good idea. <laughs> Oops. Is that my chicken? <laughs> You're a fox. You can't say he's not quick off the old shovel. <laughs> Dad! Where is he? Every I'll wear your hide for a hat. I'm sure it'll be very fitting. Dave, do you remember the other day when Stephen asked you to tie your skateboard? Did you do it? No. And this is why. Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> Dad! Oh dear. <laughs> Oh, 
going on here? I know it doesn't look good, but I can explain. Can you? No, no, I can't. Basil, what is going on? Oh, I didn't mean no harm, Miss Daisy. It was the chickens. They wanted to escape. And, well, I just thought, well, helping a few chickens to cross the road and get to the other side is not a very big crime, is it? In fact, it's poultry. <laughs> poultry! <laughs> Basil, you better not be here when he comes to. You know how much he hates foxes. Indeed I do. Hate <laughs> foxes! <laughs> 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 no. 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 I loves foxes. <laughs> you're lovely. <laughs> and you're a very attractive too in a big, fat, smelly, shouty farmer sort of way. <laughs> I don't want to be a farmer no more. No. No. <laughs> I, I wants to give myself to the little foxes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give us a kiss. Uh, uh, OK, I think there's a cat here. Cat! Please, cat! Mrs. Devo, please help! So, yes, I think I'm going to make some changes at the farm. Like what? Well, moving back to the countryside for one. And anyway, I think the fresh air will do my dad the world of good. I just want to give myself to the little foxes. Can I do anything for you, would you? Would you like to go to the pictures? No, I'm claiming well, wouldn't you? And keep off my brush! <sighs> so, if you're ever back in town, maybe we could go out sometime, grab a bite to eat, maybe get married and live happily ever after? Stephen, you're really nice, but... But you're a complete plank and a burp to boot. Basil's right. He is. I am. Um... Yes, but you're a lovely plank and a really sweet bird. But I'm already engaged. Who to? He's suave, sophisticated, and so good looking. His name's Ronnie. Hi, Ronnie! <laughs> Ronnie! Are you ready, Miss Daisy? I've got the tractor started. Get going now, we could block up the motorway for a rush hour and still get home in time for a skinny dip in the cesspit. <laughs> I loves you. Get off! Well, if you know I'm not that sort of a fox. <laughs> roll pin it, roll anything, roll out the barrel. Just get me out of here. <sighs> what a day, eh, Mr. Stephen? You can say that again. Thanks for the offer, but once was enough if you don't mind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you ask me, you had a narrow squeak there. I really thought she was the one. Yeah, and her loony father thought I was the one. <laughs> we could have had a double wedding. Dude, uh, it's not funny and it's probably illegal too. <laughs> nah, just forget about it. Get to sleep. Good night, Basil. Nighty night, Mr. Stephen. Well? Aren't you going to end the show with a rubbish chicken joke? Nope. What? Nothing egg extraordinary where the yolks are me? Nah, I'm too tired. But people expect it. It wouldn't be the same. Go on. Nah, get lost. Rubbish chicken joke indeed. How could he think I'd resort to something that cheap? Cheap, cheap. Um, um.